So Limited Liability Company, LLC, an LLC is an entity formed under state law by filing articles of organization. Generally, for income tax purposes, a single member LLC is uh, disregarded as an entity separate from its owner and reports its income deductions on its owner's federal income tax return. Okay, so this, whenever you get into a Schedule C type of business, you're going to have these questions that will come up as to whether someone should incorporate. Now, typically, most small businesses aren't going to want to go to a C corporation, separate legal entity that pays taxes on the corporate level, in part because there's double taxation. But you could go to like an S corporation or to a limited liability company. Now, a limited liability company is usually not it is basically usually set up kind of like a partnership so the idea of it would be if if you had a partnership for example then you almost you're going to have to possibly file a separate return usually unless it's like a married couple or something like that because in certain circumstances which we'll talk about later because then you're going to have to file a separate return so that the income will flow through from the partnership to the so to the 1040s uh, so that so that becomes like a just a technical thing that has to take place, even though the partnership might not be thought of as a separate legal entity, which will give some barrier, hopefully, or is the thought process of liability protection to the individual's uh, assets. When you look at uh, a limited liability company, that's the idea usually of taking kind of like a partnership flow through structure, but then then uh, also giving it some benefit of being a separate legal entity, even though it's not taxed on the partnership level or the corporation level, it still flows through. So they're trying to get the best of both worlds. But you might say, well, what if I don't have a partnership? I'm a sole proprietor. Well, then you might have a, a, a single member LLC. And then it's like, well, if I have a single member LLC, do I need to really file a separate tax return, which looks like a partnership tax return? because the partnership tax return is usually a logistical thing I need to do. So it flows through from the partnership tax return to the multiple partners. But if I only have one partner, what's the point of doing the separate tax return? So that's why you might end up with a situation where you have a single member LLC, which basically is reporting things in a similar fashion using like the schedule on the normal income tax return, possibly on uh, a schedule C. So those are kind of questions that you wanna ask in your particular state as well, because some of these uh, entity structures like an S corporation, an LLC, a, a partnership and a C corporation will have different, uh, different pros and cons possibly, depending on the state laws that they're uh, incorporated in. And that's why you'll often find different entities in different areas or incorporated basically in different states and whatnot and incorporated in different ways or using different taxable entities based on the industry. But that's a little past the scope that we're going for here. So for example, if the single member LLC is not engaged in farming and the owner is an individual, they may use a Schedule C. Okay, sole proprietor. A sole proprietor is someone who owns an unincorporated business by themselves. So you, you are also a sole proprietor for income tax purposes if you are an individual and the sole member of a domestic LLC uh, unless you elect to have the LLC treated as a corporation. So once again, if you have the LLC, you could elect to have it treated as a corporation, which is uncommon because that's what you're trying to avoid typically with the LLC because it could result in double taxation. So, so the sole proprietor is someone who owns an unincorporated business by themselves.